Society, a complex web of norms and expectations, often feels like a comforting blanket. We seek its approval, crave its validation. Yet beneath this veneer of security lies a subtle form of control. Society, with its relentless pursuit of conformity, can stifle our true selves. We become cogs in a machine, our individuality sacrificed at the altar of acceptance. This is the very essence of Osho's critique, a profound observation of how societal structures, while seemingly benign, can restrict our innate wisdom and freedom. Osho challenged this notion of societal control, arguing that true freedom lies in embracing our individuality. He believed that each of us possesses an inner wisdom, a unique perspective that is often suppressed by societal pressures. This suppression, Osho argued, is not merely a personal tragedy, but a collective loss. When we silence our inner voice, we diminish the richness and diversity of human experience. This control manifests in various forms, from the subtle pressures of family and peers to the overt dictates of institutions. We are taught to conform to certain beliefs, follow prescribed paths and suppress any thoughts or desires that deviate from the norm. Over time, this constant pressure can erode our sense of self, leading to a life lived according to someone else's script. Osho's critique of societal structures is a call to awaken from this collective slumber. It is an invitation to question the status quo, to shed the shackles of conformity, and to embrace the liberating power of individual wisdom. Osho's perspective on wisdom diverges from conventional interpretations. It's not about accumulating knowledge or mastering scriptures. True wisdom for Osho is an intrinsic quality, an innate understanding of life that transcends intellectual prowess. It's about living authentically, in tune with one's true nature. This authenticity, this willingness to embrace one's individuality, is precisely what makes wisdom a threat to established orders. Societies, by their very nature, thrive on predictability and control. They rely on the adherence of their members to a shared set of rules and norms. Wise individuals, however, with their independent thinking and their tendency to question established norms disrupt this carefully maintained order. They represent a challenge to the status quo, a force that can potentially unravel the fabric of societal control. This threat is not born out of malice or a desire for chaos. Rather, it stems from the wise individual's inherent understanding of the limitations of societal structures. They recognize that these structures, while providing a semblance of order, often come at the cost of individual freedom and authenticity. Their wisdom allows them to see beyond the facade of societal norms and to recognize the inherent value of individuality. This is why Osho believed that societies often attempt to suppress or marginalize wise individuals. They are seen as disruptive elements, threats to the established order. Yet it is precisely this disruptive quality that makes wisdom so essential for societal progress and evolution. By challenging the status quo, wise individuals force societies to confront their limitations and to evolve towards greater freedom and authenticity. The wise, in Osho's view, are not passive observers of life. They are active participants, engaged in a constant dance with existence. They question, they explore, they challenge. This inherent rebelliousness is not a sign of disrespect, but a deep-seated reverence for truth. The wise rebel, driven by inner wisdom, becomes a catalyst for change, pushing society towards greater awareness and freedom. This rebellion manifests in various ways. It could be a scientist challenging accepted theories, an artist breaking artistic conventions, or a spiritual seeker questioning dogma. The common thread is a refusal to be confined by pre-existing structures of thought or belief. Their rebellion stems from a deep-seated conviction to align with their inner truth, even if it means challenging the world around them. This challenge is not always welcomed. Societies often react to such individuals with fear and suspicion. They are labeled as heretics, radicals or troublemakers. Their ideas are dismissed as dangerous or subversive. 
Yet history is replete with examples of such individuals who through their unwavering commitment to their truth have ushered in eras of profound change and progress. The wise rebel in Osho's philosophy is not a destructive force but a transformative one. Their rebellion is not aimed at tearing down society but at helping it evolve to become more inclusive, more just and more aligned with the principles of individual freedom and authenticity. They are the alchemists of change, transmuting the lead of conformity into the gold of individual and collective liberation. Freedom, a concept often romanticized, is in its essence a state of being. It's not merely the absence of external restrictions, but a profound sense of inner liberation. Osho believed that true freedom is inextricably linked to wisdom. When we align ourselves with our inner wisdom, when we allow it to guide our thoughts and actions, we naturally gravitate towards a state of freedom. This connection between wisdom and freedom might seem abstract, but it is deeply rooted in our lived experiences. When we operate from a place of wisdom, we are no longer swayed by the opinions of others or bound by societal expectations. We make choices that resonate with our true selves, choices that are aligned with our values and aspirations. This alignment fosters a sense of inner peace and liberation, a state of being where we are no longer imprisoned by external pressures. This freedom, however, is not a destination but a journey. It requires constant vigilance, a willingness to question our beliefs and assumptions, and a commitment to aligning ourselves with our inner truth. It is a process of continual self-discovery, a shedding of layers of conditioning to reveal the authentic self that lies beneath. Osho's teachings offer a roadmap for this journey. He provides tools and techniques to cultivate inner wisdom, to quiet the noise of the external world and to connect with the voice of our inner truth. Through meditation, mindfulness and self-reflection, we can begin to dismantle the barriers that separate us from our true selves gradually moving towards a state of authentic freedom.